Hello and welcome to Traveller's Rest, given to me my metabolic publishing. Um, this didn't actually come to me how I usually get games. They actually found me on Twitter, so thank you so, so much for reaching out to me. Um, I have actually had this game on my wishes for a while, so I'm very excited to see what's in store for me. This is a brand new, um, brand new game. I can only play as a male, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I like I like all the options you've got here. Okay. So I'll I'll base it on my um, boyfriend because I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? I like all. I I really do enjoy all the options. I love a game that has a lot of options. Oh wow! Look. Oh, you can play as a girl. Okay. Sorry. Um. Yeah, we're still gonna play as my boyfriend. Um, if my boyfriend sees this, he's he's probably gonna. Um, oh wow! I there are a lot to choose from. Let's give him a vest. Uh, facial hair. I guess not that much. Yeah, we'll go with that. Hat. Oh wow. Yep, yeah, that'll do. And oh wow. I am. Um, I'm a sucker for a. What is he holding? Oh, it's a cane. Uh, we'll name it after my boyfriend. So, there we go. I'm a huge sucker for anything to do with customization in games. If a game has customization, you've already sold me. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The game is currently in early access, which means it's still being developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review to support this solo dev project. Thank you. Okay, let's see what it says. Uh, okay, that's already been said. So, how do I... No, 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 I don't want to do it. Okay. WASD to move, shift to run, press B, or click the build mode button to enter exit build mode. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, so it's got, it's got good walking speed as well. Okay, so that's the inventory. Okay. What's this? Storing food here will add it to your bar stop. While your bar isn't stopped, you'll serve brawl. This only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. So I'm guessing brawl is like the very, very minimalistic, basic food you can get. Oh well, okay, so that's it. Oh, I haven't got any fuel. Okay, what's back here? Oh. Progress through the main quest line to unlock the crafting room. Okay, that makes perfect sense. This is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save the game. If you stay up too late, you will pass out. It reminds me a bit of um, Stardew Valley, where if your timer hits a certain um, hour, you will pass out. Okay, so let's see what's upstairs. Increase your tavern's reputation to unlock renting rooms. Okay. So, how do I actually get stuff at the tavern? Outside your tavern, you'll find a postbox to order in supplies and a delivery box, a notice board to accept quests, uh, to accept other quests and hire staff, a well to, to collect water, a farming area to the north, and patrons that just go by. Let's see what it says. Hire staff. Unlock that tavern reputation six and let's see what orders. Unlock the reputation. Okay, so I'm assuming. Yeah, that's nothing here. I'm assuming. Oh, here you can order in items for your tavern. Simply click an item to add it to your basket or shift click to add 10. After ordering, the items will appear in a delivery box outside your tavern in free hours. That's actually a pretty fast, um, fast delivery time, to be honest. Pick up. Okay, so, wood for the, wood for the, um, I'm going to assume that's wood for the, uh, can I, oh, I wanted to pick those up. Hello birds, can I pick you up birdies? Okay, so I've got fire. I've got fire, wow cat. I've got wood is what I wanted to say. Let's see, no, I don't. I want to get um, some water, I guess. No empty bucket, okay. So I need to find a bucket. Knowing my luck, I've probably, oh that way sealed up. Knowing my luck, I've probably, um, already how 
Okay. So, I don't have any way, anything in the way of coins. Comfort 44, temperature perfect, cleanse perfect. So, fuel, fuel 5, buy food. No, I don't want to buy any. So, I suppose I can, um, yeah, we'll do that. Is this just to sleep, maybe? Potentially? I don't know. Because I can't. Oh, up on the wrong way. I can't order anything. Build mode, here. You are. When in build mode, you can place items. Right click to select. Press select in the table. Left click to place item. Press space to continue. Is there a way to rotate? Customers need a place to sit. Place the benches so they face the table. Ah, oh, rotate up. Ah, there we go. Always are. Right click to add the item to your inventory. Press put it there so I can rotate. Oh, it doesn't want to be picked up. Okay. So we are going to do this. There we go. Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing the candle on the table. Exit build mode. Right click the book on the bar to, be, to open your stop. Okay. I have no stop. Oh. Press O to click the close sign to open your. No, press O or click the close sign to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Remember to exit build mode. You have a quest. Press the question mark on the left side of the screen to view it. Uh, serve six customers. Okay. Oop. I did not realise I was still in build mode. Your first customer has entered the tavern. Provide good service in a well kept tavern to earn reputation. Okay, how do I do things? Teach me! One of your customers has, has dirtied your floor. Oh, how dare you! Press 2 or click the tavern vision button to highlight the day. Tavern vision will highlight important objects such as dirty tables, floor dirt and important customers. Clean the floor by selecting the mop and clicking the stain. Where is the mop? Where, where is it? Oh, it's the main inventory. A customer has requested an item. Click on the customer to serve them. Okay, that's easy enough. Um, must be behind the box. Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense. I wish I could run. <laughs> what was that? Like, boink. Just keep eating. Don't mind the... Um, clean. 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 There we go. It's a little bit picky on where I click. I love how the customers are talking in the background. Da 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 da! First achievement! Quest complete. Rewards. Oh, okay. Close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Call last orders by pressing O or clicking the open sign. This will prevent new customers from entering your tavern. Okay. Press O or click in the sign again will force your tavern to close, but you will lose reputation. Instead, wait for your customers to leave, which makes perfect sense, because no one wants to be kicked out whilst they're enjoying their drinks and grub and all that. So, can I click on you guys? Can I interact with you? No? Okay. I'd get some food and you wouldn't even need a plate. A table has become dirty. Click and hold on the table to clean it. There we go. It's going to get dirtier again, isn't it? At least I've got some money rolling in now. Set up a table using your new items. Enter build mode and left click with the item selected on your action bar. Uh, first I need to clean that because I can see that from a while away. Alright, so. Uh, build mode. I'm probably pacing these like really terribly. But... Uh, 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 at the same rate. Open your tavern and serve new customers. Complete your current quest to unlock the craft room. Okay, I, I actually want to see what happens in the craft room. Okay, uh, 
let's get our build mode and let's get behind here I like the music I have to admit I like the music I like the music a lot oh okay it is again very fussy with where I click on the customer to do that but yeah it's only a small technicality Sickle, oh sorry Spade and so forth. You have to make sure you actually click on the customer and not the speech bubble by accident. Aim for the head! Pretend they're zombies, aim for the head. Aiming for the head seems to do the trick. Odd. I remember someone telling me gruel was made out of um, sewage and I hated, hated that so much. I still don't know what gruel is actually made out of technically, but it's like really low um, quality food that you just do not want to serve but it it's meant to at least um hold your hunger at bay but how can how can it be nice that's nothing i must know how you clean this place with a mop my trusted mop uh comfort is i need to raise the comfort at some point so temperature's perfect and it's clean no it's not I still love that. I really do. I love how that goes. Let's complete. What have I got? I have cakes, watered down booze, and I have more porridge. Except you can now serve porridge and grog. Right click the book and add the porridge to your stock inventory. Stock inventory. There we go. I don't want to have, whoops, right click the beer tap and add the keg of grog to the slot, okay. Okay. Da -da -da, la -la 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 -la. You guys are making me work. What? You, what did you? Okay. This place could do a little cleanup. What do you think I did? Cheeky gear. Ugh, messy. Ooh, an old doormat helps keep your tavern floor clean. Perfect! You can now unlock a crafting room. When you're ready, close up and head to the northern side of the tavern. Alright, so. Last orders! I have to admit, I think the game mechanics are actually really simple to learn. If you actually listen to the tutorial and don't wander off like I did. Um, let's see. Uh, how do I... Nope, wrong one. Nope. We'll just, we'll just do it this way. There we go. Ah, okay, that's what I've been playing. Reputation 56, what did I do? What did I do? Is it because I started cleaning your table? Oh, I'm sorry, you said it was messy. There. Wow. Okay. Fine, I won't, I won't clean the table. I'll let you dine in filth. Crafting room. That was this way, wasn't it? It was this one also. Yeah. Unlock the crafting room for 15 silver. Ta-da! Unlock the crafting room. Found on the north side of the tavern. Rewards barley and a bucket of water. Now what do I do? This thing? This is your crafting room. First, let's make some porridge. Right click the oven to open up the crafting menu. I'm starting to feel like a Minecraft crafting. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the recipe name to begin crafting. Some recipes require fuel. Click the log on the right side of the crafting menu. This will remove a log from your inventory and add five fuel to the crafter. Brilliant. Ah, some recipes can be modified. This, is allow this allows extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. Hover over the exclamation mark to view this. I just I couldn't see what I was from there. Porridge requires grain. Try dragging barley from your inventory into one of the slots. This will create barley porridge. Okay. Start shooting. Craft. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, click the crafter to collect the ingredients. In ingredients? Items! Wow, you've them in the, uh, the oven and they stain the ingredients, that'd be terrible. 
Wait for your porridge to cook. It will only take a few seconds. I want to see what's over here. That a cloth? No. Oh. This reminds me a bit of um, Graveyard Keep. It's the same prince. It's the same principle for like crafting and stuff, but instead of um, running a tavern, you're obviously in a graveyard. Ooh. Da 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 da. Malt house. Malt house. Fuck some porridge. What's malt house? Now let's brew some beer. Place the malt house from your inventory and start crafting malted barley. Remember to enter build mode. Oh, enter build mode. Okay. I'll put it... Oh, for some reason I want to put it on the wall. Okay. So, that needs fuel. There we go. Malting takes a while. Right-click the crafter to view how long the current recipe will take. You can reopen your tavern and serve porridge while you wait. Two hours, 58 minutes, 57. Okay, so. All right, let's open up. The only button I remembered off by heart is the open and close button. Ah, la 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 la. Ah, customer. Hello there, old chap. Thanks for making a mess on my floor. I must know how you clean this place. I shove a muck into the floor's face. That's what I do. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put the mat down in front of the door before I opened. Oh, that would have saved me some mess. Okay. A customer has requested a beer. Click and hold on the beer tab to create a beer. Then click the customer to serve them. Okay. Here you go. Wow, you all want beer. Oh, no. No okay. cake. I should have served this guy first. He was waiting long. I'm sorry, dude. Please don't take my reputation down. Please give me all your money. See, I like you. You just want something simple that is straight on hand. You don't want a beer. Neither do you. Congratulations. I like you too. I wonder if it actually gets noisier as more people enter. I'm going to guess that it does. Some games, however, I've played... The ambience is the same, no matter how many people are in an area. And it, it does, it just takes the Im immersion out, which is a bit of a shame. I like, um, I like a bit of sound changes to happen whilst I'm in an area. Like, say, for example, you go in a forest, it's meant to be, like, loads of woodland creatures and all that. Add some ambience, make it seem more realistic and, um, more, um, you want more grog? Okay. Uh, uh, Brawl is what I meant to say. Add some more, um, you know, just just bring the people in a bit more. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Hey, look at all the reputation points I'm getting. Hey, very nice. No, nope, that's build mode. That's tavern. Hold on. What is it? What is the button for vision mode again? I can't remember. Oh well. Alright, so, let's put that mat down. Place pick up, there we go. Some items will increase your tavern's comfort level. Multiple of the same item will diminish this effect. A greater comfort level will keep your customers happy. Alright, now I want to see if there's anything. Why do I go outside? Why did I press build mode? Why am I in build? Is there anything I can build outside? Anyway, let's open that again. Now that they're not going to be so messy, it should be easy for me to clean, right? Unless, of course, they missed the map completely, which that person just did. Why did you miss the map completely? Why are you doing this to me? She was a fine, fine girl, my pig Stella was. Oh. I like the name Stella, actually, but I wouldn't name... My kid's Stella. I just like it in... Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> A blush. Did I go in the wrong mode again? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, you want beer. I thought I could just run past you, get that dirt done. But no, you wanted beer, so it takes longer. What are you carrying? What is that? It looks like a baseball strap to your... Uh, 
okay. This place is cleaner than the palace. Wow, thank you. I, oh. This place is cleaner than the palace and then the table gets messy. Okay, hang on, guys. You keep me on my toes. Hello again. You wouldn't believe what I saw on the road here. Well, given that this is a fantasy game, um, I kind of probably would um, believe you. Can I just get like one beer? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, that was lucky. Paper coaster. Serve five mugs of grog. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Your tavern has become cold. Use the fireplace to keep the tavern at the perfect temperature. Hold on, hold on. How do I... There we go. There we go, see? Well, this... This is definitely a management game and a half. Alright, let's close up for a minute. So I can actually clean. Not have to worry about other people coming in. There's a bit of a mess in here. Excuse me. Cheeky. How am I supposed to run my place if you're just gonna... Whoa, look at all that reputation. Yes! I wanna move that uh, rug as well. You have reached a new reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. View these by clicking the arrow underneath the reputation bar. Shanty rewards brewing and cooking tech trees. Press T is open. Okay, let me just move this because this is in the wrong place. Let's put the item on the action bar to place. What? I wanna, hang on. Can I place it, can you? Otherwise, I'm gonna keep missing it. Uh, hang on. <laughs> no. Uh, why are you not placing? What did I do wrong? Okay, hold on. Eh, no, that's gonna annoy me. Hang on. I'm very picky. There we go. Alright, that'll have to do. I'll figure for something else. Okay. What was I doing? Craft some malted barley as the other. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was just doing. Let's see. Oh! Ta da! Right, hang on. Uh, hang on. Da da da. Okay. Mashed tun? Mashed tun? I don't even know what a mashed tun is. Bitter hot and water. Create wort by boiling? Boiling grains. Place the mash tun and create some mild wort. Check back later when it's finished. Okay, so I've got to remember to press my buttons. Press, press, press the buttons. Alright, so need fire. There we go. I suppose I could get some more um, porridge going, couldn't I? There we go. Because I don't want to run out somehow. There we go. I'm going to put coasters on the table. Can I just... Could I need to be in... Yeah, I need to be in... Room. One of these days I will remember that I need to be in build mode. I kind of wish there was a way to do um, to do uh, multiple so that you don't need to keep clicking um, on it, but I suppose that's that's just how it's going to be. Uh, let's sell that because I'm not going to sell that right now. Cold, clean, come fifty nine. Okay. I keep doing that. Let's open the thing. I don't actually know what the time is for when I'll get knocked out. I really like this music. I am really into like medieval style games. Um, 
So this kind of music is something I'm really enjoying right now. Now at some point I'd love to hire some helpers. I know that's part of the game. Oh wow, that was lovely. Um, what, what was I saying? I've actually gone blank. Yeah, I'd like to hire some helpers and stuff. But I suppose I'm going to have to wait on that a little. I must know how you clean this place. With a mop, my good fellow. With a mop. You know, I put coasters down for you guys. And what do you do? You, you just sit the things on your lap. Your, la, la, la. You're funny, person. You're funny. This must be what angels drink. That doesn't need to clean. I bet you any minute, as soon as I reach the bar, it's going to be needing cleaning. Uh, back when I was a young lass, I used to drink the grog. It's just nice to get into the wall. Oh yeah. I'm sure it is. That table needs cleaning really badly now. There. Now I can clean the tables as well. Hey, this table needs a clean. What do you think I was coming over for? To wipe your bottom? It's getting late. Call our soldiers to give your customers a chance to finish their drinks before closing up. Okay. Well, I've already done that, so. Let's see how this is going. Okay. Don't make a mess on the floor. I heard the owner of this place is a cultist. I'm a cultist? Really? That's news to me. Okay. Save the fuel, why don't we? Check that, um, see if there's anything I can collect here before I go. Now for the last stage, fermentization. Fermentation. Fermentation? I can never pronounce that word. Place the fermented tank and create some mild ale. Fermentation. There. I can't get that word today, I am so sorry guys. You can add modifiers such as fruit and give your beer a custom name. You can order it. Stop using the post box outside. And okay. Ah, this one. Build mode. Guys, just yell build mode, build mode at me constantly because I keep the game. Okay, so. Um, wait, what do I need to put in this? Room R L. Okay. I, I, yeah, I suppose that's how it works. Okay. Okay. So let's go to bed. Make bed. No bed. Oh, I want to go to bed. Make bed. Ah, there we go. You have to walk into bed. Okay. It's a bit like Stardew Valley then, where you have to walk into the bed to actually go to bed. You click a save to override or create a new one. Please keep multiple saves during early access to avoid losing progress. That's a good idea, actually. Um. Okay, I think I saved it properly. Here's hoping. How long is that taking? It's nearly done. 46 minutes, okay. So, best thing to do is to just walk when you want to close something, because, um... Ah! Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up for the day. You'll need more logs for crafting and fireplace. Visit the post box outside your tavern to order in supplies. Ah, delivery box. I put in there last night. Alright, let's see. I kind of wish that it said how many you have of each. I suppose that's um can I not afford that? Ah. Being a bit picky. 20, 50, um, barrel, bed. Oh I can buy oh wow. Oh, no, let's just order this for now. 
That's taken me down quite a lot, but I can also get the wood. I'll save the sticks, I think. Sticks I could probably use for, like, when I'm doing very small um, crafting bits and pieces, like when I'm making porridge, for example. Uh, the logs I'll keep for the fireplace because they yield quite a lot more than sticks alone. Let's see, let's go over here and get some more. I really want to, oh, it's a hammer. <laughs> oh, earlier I said there was a tennis ball. Of course it's a tennis ball. Ah, empty buckets and now I've been filled up. Brilliant. Let's see what this actually is up here. So I don't see so. Progress through the main quest line to unlock the farming. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's see if there's anything on the billboard today. Higher stuff. Six. What is my reputation? I think it's just one at the moment. Okay, oh! Tech tree, that's right. Tech tree, tech trees are how you learn new recipes. Each tech costs skill points which can be earned from crafting. Skill points are split into physical, nature and mental. The three bars on the bottom left of the screen indicate your progress towards your next skill point. Okay, so... Uh, how do I tell how many I've actually got? Can I hover over? No. Amount of skill points. Okay, so I, I, I'm guessing that I don't have any skills yet. Or is that... Can I, can I, can I close you a sec? There we go. One, one, one. So I've got one, one, one on everything. Hmm. Okay, so only these two are available right now. So this is cooking and brewing. So, I, if I can get some twos coming in, then I'll be able to make some other stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Right, yo. Let's stock up here. Because I don't want to run out some... Um... Okay, stocked up there. Let's see how this is going. Get some more of this going. It's all about management, guys. All about management. if I press the right thing, wouldn't it? Oh, this is ready. Congratulations, you have brewed your first beer. Press T to view your tech tree and learn new recipes. Experiment with new ingredients to create your perfect brews and food. Grinder. Ooh. I didn't need to be yelled at, guys. I heard you yelling at me just then. Let's see. Barley flour. Let's get some more of this going, I think. Oh, hang on. Ah, yep, I forgot. Okay, so you can only craft one at a time. That is a little annoying, that you can only do one at a time. But I suppose that's the way it goes. No, hang on, I didn't press it. There we go, okay. Now we're all good to go. So, let's open the day and be on our way. Oh, that sounded kind of poetic, didn't it, guys? Get me. This is your calendar where important events will be noted. Cover over any day marked with a red dot to view its events. That's none. That's none. Hello, you want something else? Yeah, there you go, governor. Oh, did I not? Oh. There, I need to add that in. Something tells me I didn't do that yesterday and that's why it didn't work. You now have several unique items in stock. The more unique items you have in stock, the more reputation and money you'll earn. This only counts the base item, ignoring any modifiers. Actually, I want to change that one out. Oh, it's getting busier quickly, isn't it? How 
is that doing, by the way? Oh, we're nearly out of grog. Ah, uh, not grog. Um, is it grog? I should have thought this through. Here you go. Oh, here you go. A customer's being rowdy. They are marked with an exclamation mark. Click an item. No, click on them to try and calm them down. A rowdy customer will upset nearby customers. Oh no, the customers become a nuisance. They will annoy everyone around them. Hit them with your mop to kick them out of the tavern. Okay. How do you hit them? Oh. Hang on. Okay, okay, I'm out of here. Get out of here. Nuisance. Oh. You get his place to play. I was just kicking someone out for you guys, okay? Oh, what do you want? There. Uh, how do I turn? I've got to remember what that button is. You guys, wow, you want some more? Is this Oliver Twist now? Alright, okay. One, two, three. Et voila. C'est magnifique. I want to check on my grooves and stuff. I really do need a high stuff. This must be what the angels drink. I'm only on reputation one. Of course you leave. How are you bringing dirt from the table to... How are you doing that? Alright, let's see. For some reason I really like that sound. Oh, I'm out of barley. That's not a good thing for me. Not if it is. How do I get an empty keg again? Oh, that needs water. Oh, okay. Well, not done too badly for our first day, have we? Oh, can I not open, like, the inventory? Here we go. Okay, so... Okay, we'll sort that out later. Anyway, folks, this has been an incredible, incredible simulation game. I absolutely love these kind of games, as I've already said. Thank you so, so much for reaching out to me on Twitter. I did not expect for anyone to actually um, grab me on Twitter and say, would you like to play this game for us and review it? Especially since it was actually on my wish list as well. So I've been ecstatic to actually get this game and be able to play it um so yeah thank you so so much guys um <laughs> i'm actually over the moon about being able to play this because i also love um i love games where you actually have to serve customs like this so anyway that has been traveler's rest if you guys would love to play this game please feel free to look into my description below i will link the game there also, if you want to see me do more review videos like this or any kind of gaming videos at all, there is a link to my coffee below where you can buy me a coffee. Everything that you put towards me will go towards helping my channel grow. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.